African Asian, selling a bill of goods to the poorest of the poor. Believe this message, your pigs won't die, your wife won't have miscarriages, you have rings on your fingers and coats on your back. That's coming out of America. People that ought to be giving our money and our time and our lives instead of selling a bunch of crap called gospel. And here's the reason it is so horrible. When was the last time that any American, African, Asian ever said, Jesus is all satisfying because you drove a BMW? Never. They'll say, Jesus did you do that? Yeah, well, I'll take Jesus. That's idolatry. That's not the gospel. That's elevating gifts above giver. I'll tell you what makes Jesus look beautiful. is when you smash your car and your little girl goes flying through the windshield and lands like dead on the street. And you say, through the deepest possible pain, God is enough. God is enough. He is good. He will take care of us. He will satisfy us. He will get us through this. He is our treasure. Whom have I in heaven with you and on earth? There's nothing that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart and my little girl may fail, but you are the strength of my heart and my portion forever. That makes God look. As God, not as giver of cars or safety or health. Oh, how I pray that America would be purged of the health, wealth, and prosperity of God, and that the Christian church would be marked by suffering for Christ. God is most glorified in you when you are most satisfied in Him in the midst of loss. Not by in my life in wanting to spread his word right, and, and touch me in my heart and make me think about what is in my heart and where my heart lies with God. And missions really was nothing to me. Like it never even entered my mind. But Spirit's been teaching me more and more and more about myself and my relationship with Him. Missions is an inevitable thing. It is a calling as a Christian. It is our There, there must be a sender, and there must be a goer. Without the sender, there is no goer. And I pray deeply that churches in, in Sacramento would raise up missionaries who would give up their lives for Christ and be marked by suffering through Christ because of the suffering this life, God is teaching, this life is nothing. It's so, it fades away so fast. It's like dust. Mm -hmm. It's like vapor. So why am I trying to build up my kingdom here on earth? You know, I deceive myself so many times. Building up my own kingdom here. Why? When it's all going to burn. It's all going to burn. The Holy Spirit's telling me, give it up. Give it up. You keep building up your own, your, your own treasure, your own wealth, your own kingdom here, I'm going to burn it over and over again until they get the idea. And I pray to God for that. I pray to him for that. Because it's not going to last. This stuff is teaching me so much. And though it's hard, it's so hard sometimes. Because it's so complicated. I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be like that. I want to be I want to be radical. 
wants me to do, whether it be moving to Israel or moving to San Francisco. But the whole missions thing is just, it takes time for the seed to be planted and grown. It takes time. Because the work comes in and, and God's Holy Spirit teaches us it takes some time to get it on the heart. sometimes, hopefully they can merge together and form a bit. So, that was fun to say. Thank you all for coming. We have some more. Some more um, worship after this. And just a song.